Alrighty, and we are back. Uh, this is zero one of one, doing my uh, survival series. Uh, we are now over 200 videos in this particular series, so we're doing pretty good so far. Um, yeah, so in the last episode, it was only half an episode, so this is going to be the other half to that episode. So as you can tell here, we are in the, uh, the ice crane, or the hydro crane, whatever you want to call it. Um, and I had to come over here because I had to heal myself up a little bit, so uh, I don't yet have a um, survival kit or anything over at the, uh, the base of the mountain base. And the reason why I'm calling it that is because it's confusing, and I kind of like that it's confusing, so <laughs> yeah. Um, anyways, uh, oh, why is it storming? I was hoping to show you like what I'd done so far. I mean, the base isn't done yet, like not by any stretch of the imagination, but um, I did kind of get an idea of what I wanted to do. And so I've started moving in that direction. Um, so I guess we can try to make our way over there. Hopefully I actually see something. Um, yeah, and that little miner that I made uh, is amazing, by the way. Um, there was one small change that I made to it, which wasn't even like a physical change or anything. Okay, you can slow down, thank you. Okay, so this is kind of what it looks like from here. I know you guys probably can't see it very well, and even less like this. But, so it hasn't changed too much. Like, we still have the two uh, pads right here, right? Um, but it has changed a little bit on this end. So you can see that we've got kind of like an edge now. Um, we've got more storage here. We've got L uh, LCDs on there. We've got our assembler spinning. We put our refinery kind of back in the middle and we threw a turret on here. Just, I mean, the turret's got to move, but there was someone coming in and I didn't know if they were going to like send a drone after me. So kind of just threw a turret down real quick. All right, and then we need to go that way and go okay so lock and then that and then off with that okay good to go so the small change that I made on here is instead of just having the two ejectors here which are still there you know but what I did with the connector here is you can actually tell this to throw out stuff as well and then what comes out of the connector is actually more than what comes out of the ejectors so if you want to get rid of stuff really, really quickly, uh, throw a connector on there and just have the connector throw out stuff. So it works very, very well, like I said. And then as you can see here, uh, this is actually uh, two blocks thick here. Um, so the floor is, you know, basically clean, like you don't see any pipes or anything on there. Uh, we do see this and it does go into this block, but underneath this connector is, or conveyor block is another conveyor block. And then on the level below this one is where all of the tubes are running. So we've got uh, the tube coming from over there and it goes kind of under here this way and then out this way and then under each of these things. And then from here it goes this way, which is then when we get over into here. And then uh, we also put, um, yeah, so I ran another conveyor tube from here over into here. So this is our build and repair unit right here. Uh, that's just the top of it, so you can't see the rest of it. And then uh, from over here, I believe I went down under here so you can kind of see it. This is kind of how everything is. Then I went over this way and then, no, I think I went that way. Yeah. Yeah, so I went this way over to this guy, then from here over into there. And then from here, going this way, I'm going to have, <clears throat> that's where the turret's going to go. So there's that, um, and then I started working on this over here, which is kind of what I'm going to be working on um, probably in this episode is going to be the inside of here, and we're going to dig out a lot of this stuff so we have lots and lots of room. Uh, we might set up like a drill inside of here uh, just to get you know some materials and stuff like that. Um, 
And so then we're going to have the hydro mine for ice. And then all that ice is going to go over here. And then I have to build up all of the infrastructure for hydrogen storage, ice storage, O2, H2 generators, kind of all of the things, I guess. And then uh, you can kind of see what I did with the wall here. So this is, I took out a lot. I took out a lot of material here. Um, so this was kind of going all the way across here over to there. And then this whole kind of corner, I dug all of that out. So yeah, fun times. Um, and this thing needs to be ingots. But it might take that off of there because it's probably considering some other, like the one over on the hydro crane, to be for ingots and stuff. But we've got some components over here. Um, we have ores over here, so this is where the ice is going to go, generally speaking. But once again, this got moved because there's nothing in here currently. And that's because we are still connected, so yeah. I don't know. It's, it's a thing. Uh, we just got to deal with it. Uh, eventually, it will get to the point, though, where, um, I mean, I don't know how I'm going to do it, though, but I want it to be, like, like the pipeline is great, right? But I want it to just transfer materials in, um, but not anything. Well, no, because I might need to grab some stuff out here in case I'm doing any work over there, so that might be a good idea to keep that. Oh, man. I don't know how this is going to work. We'll, we'll figure it out when we get there. Um, but yeah. Uh, so we're going to work on the inside of here first. We're going to make a nice little pressurized area. And uh, to do that, we're going to grab our little miner. And uh, let's see. We'll turn that on. Turn that on to auto. And then off we go. Okay. So we're just gonna, I guess, just dig down in here. And then I am doing like regular drilling because uh, I do want all of the stone and stuff that we're getting out of here. So you can see how quickly like I'm kind of dropping everything, you know, like you can see the, the drill bar kind of filling up and then dropping right away. And that's because of the connector, right? So if we take a look, oh, maybe there's any way to look down at this. Yeah, so you see we, we've got big rocks, right? And we also have little rocks. So the little rocks um, are coming from the ejectors and the big rocks are coming from the connector. So the connector can dump out a lot more materials a lot quicker. And then whenever you hit the red, then you give it a couple seconds and then you just keep on going. So this works out very, very well. Um, and then the build and repair unit, you know, picks up all the excess stone and it just, it works well. Um, now you can imagine that if I did not have the build and repair units, like this would not work at all. Like I could drill everything out and drop everything, but then I would have to go and collect everything myself, which would be kind of annoying. Do, 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 do. And then I wonder if we can, yeah, so you can see like the big rocks kind of dropping out the bottom there and the little rocks. Yeah, so this thing works amazingly. Like, it's just awesome. <laughs> uh, okay. And then I don't know exactly how much stone, like the, the connector will actually drop out um, at a time. But, I don't know, I suppose I could maybe check it. So, 152, 172. So, it's like 1,500 each time. Wait, no. 1152. So, it's like 1,000, I think. But, yeah. Um, it drops a lot. Very, very quickly. And then I'm just trying to make a hole big enough that I can actually get into. And I need to adjust myself a little bit. There we go. And 
And then once I can actually get in there with this thing. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Really have to worry about keeping myself straight. Okay. Ooh, I didn't want to go that far in, I don't think. Okay. So let's see. And then we're going to be building like a second floor, I guess, or a first floor if you're in the UK um, on here as well. What is that shooting at? Must be a meteor. Okay. Don't see any red. Um, I don't have much ammo in here, though, so I might have to go and grab some magnesium. And that could be another thing that I could do. Uh, probably off screen though, because I'm sure you guys don't really need to see that. I don't have enough thrust uh, in the other directions to keep me kind of floating in air, so it's not like I can just flip myself around however I want to. Um, but I do have enough thrust in the downward direction at least to keep this thing floating. So that's kind of kind of what I'm going for, I guess. And as long as I can keep this thing relatively level, then it's not really an issue. And then I save on power a little bit, um, and a bunch of other stuff too, so. And we'll just dig down. I don't know how far I have to dig down. But I don't know. And we just kind of go straight up from here, and then we dig a nice little wall. Okay, now let's move this way, give myself a little bit more room to work with. But yeah, like I can almost like just continually mine with this thing and not have to worry about it actually overfilling, which is kind of nice. The only thing I have to worry about, like I said, is just keeping myself level. Which is, you know, easy enough. As long as you're paying attention to what you're doing. Now we actually are kind of full. Give it a couple minutes. A couple seconds, really. And I think this thing empty weighs about 13,000 kilograms, so... Fourteen thousand nine hundred. Okay, it's gonna update one more time. No, 14,166 is what we are empty. Yeah, okay. Okay, so now we've got some room. And the single battery that I have on here actually lasts quite a while too. So we've been at this for a little while now. We're only at 81%, so works quite well. Oh, 
And of course, if I was just left click mining, like this would go a lot faster, but I'm not doing that, so. All right, so let's see what we got in here for space. So from here it looks okay, but we haven't looked down yet. Okay, so down we gotta dig out a bit more. And this is a lot faster than digging by hand. Even left click digging by hand. Or right click digging? Yeah, right click digging by hand. And then uh, the drill that's on here is a tier three drill. So that's probably another reason why it is so fast. Sixteen minutes. Hmm. And then I don't know how big I want this area in here. Um, you know what I could try to do, actually, now that I think about it. Ooh, wait, no, 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 I can't do that. Um, I was thinking I could do collect all on the connector, but if I did that and then I connected it to something that was actually, you know, belted into everything, um, then it would pull everything out of uh, whatever it is that I'm, you know, storing in that base, in that, you know, system, whatever, and then it would just drop it all out, which would be kind of a bad idea. So we'll just, we'll just leave it as it is. Should be fine. this side. That should hopefully be okay. We'll dig out a little bit more over here. bit more just this little section here and then I think we'll start building inside of here because I think we should have cleared out a decent amount of space
Okay. Just kind of smoothing out the walls a little bit. down here if I can okay I think that'll be good So now we just gotta wait for everything to kinda get ejected out. And then we'll head back in and see kinda what we got. Okay. I think we're good to go. Ooh, hey, there's a there's a ceiling right there. Uh, we need it to go out this way. Very, very carefully. Okay, good to go. Now that should have given us a decent amount of uh, materials as well, so that's good. But yeah, so I mean, this is basically all this thing is. It's just a battery with a bunch of thrusters around it. Um, two thrusters right and left, four thrusters down, two thrusters up, uh, two thrusters forward, one thruster backwards. And then a couple of ejectors and a connector on the bottom, and it's good to go. So yeah, all of that, and we only got down to 62% charge, which is amazing. Okay, so let's see what it actually looks like. Okay, I think we can work with this. All right, so this is where I'm bringing in uh, everything. And then the rest of this, I can just right-click drill out of here, I think, if it wants to. Hello. Thank you. Just kind of smoothing out just a little bit. And then all we need to do now is just uh, bring the floor in. Um, okay, so we're gonna do, then we'll bring in that there. And then that will be kind of the floor. Let's see, how are we looking? It's actually looking okay. We have to do a little bit of mining here and there, but it's overall it's not bad. Hey, 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 hey. I don't need that there. Alright, and then that can go there. Okay. So this is kind of started, so that's good. Um, all right, so now I need to think about what I want in here. Um, let's see, uh, apparently there's a hole here. There we go. Okay, so what I want in here is just kind of like a small living area. It's gonna be multi-storied. So we'll probably put a floor up on there. And then, uh, do we want to make it a half block floor or a full block floor? We can do a full block floor, I think. Might make it harder to get the, the, uh, the driller back in here, but um, Hummingbird, I think, is what I named it. That can go straight out that way. Okay. So then down here we can do um, some oxygen storage and other things like that. 
Um, we could actually make this entire thing just a wall of oxygen tanks, which might be a good idea, actually. Um, I just need to clean this up a little bit. And then I also need to clean that up a little bit. Um, do, 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 do. Okay. That should work a little bit, I think. All right. So now I want to build a wall. There we go. And then make sure I get the corner piece done first. The corner there. And then I can't even see that. Okay. So we've got the corner up there done. And we've got sort of the corner down here done. Yes. Okay. Then we can just place these guys in there and we have a solid wall. Okay. Uh, you don't need to be there though. Yeah, I think that's good. Um, we are probably going to need more... Uh, more plate. In fact, I'm fairly certain we're going to need more plate. Okay, and then that can go there. Okay. Um, all right, so next things that we're going to need in here. So if we're going to do oxygen all along here, we can take these out. And then we can put in these guys here. And then we can do oxygen tank. Now, do we want that on the top or on the bottom? Hmm. Hmm. I think I actually like it like that. Two, three, four. Okay. So that'll get us some oxygen storage to start off with. Um, and then we can put another four probably along here. And we're probably going to put in even more than this, honestly. And I need interior plate. Okay. So then temporarily, wait, do I have any? Yes, I do. Okay. Uh, stairs. All right. So now we can get down into there. Good to go. Um, okay, so we are going to need, looks like motors, interior plates. Construction components. Okay, so that should be good. Um, and then also we're going to need some of those as well. And how much iron do we have? 60,000? That's not bad. Okay, so this should slowly be building. And then steel plates for that. And that's not going to let me see down in there, is it? Oh, that's fine. And then I wonder... Okay, so because this doesn't have the programmable block for the inventory mod, 
um, it's just building this kind of all the way through, which you know it's it's not a bad thing. Um, but let's see, assembler T three base of the mountain base. So another thing that we can do in here is throw in a programmable block. And then we can put those kind of here, I guess. So let's go ahead and get that on there. Because I don't think that this applies to subgrids or grids that aren't part of the original um, thing, I guess. Large steel tubes, huh? some of those. A couple hundred anyways. Okay, that'll work. All right, and we are at half an hour, so technically this video is done because it's the second half of a, of a video. So, um, okay, so this is going to be IC's inventory manager. Now it could be Izzy or Icy. I don't know. I say Icy. Maybe it's Izzy. I don't know. Um, is it three or four? I don't remember. Zero, zero, 100. Alignment is center. Okay, no, it's supposed to be three. Good to go. All right, and then we go into this browse inventory manager copy check good to go and it is now doing its thing excellent okay so we have another one here when we need it uh, we can put some more over here as needed I suppose I could just throw that in here for now uh, we'll just put in four I don't know if I'm gonna need four but we'll have them in here um, and then this needs steel plates, okay. All right, so now that should have taken over this and it should be flipping it around as needed. And then we'll do another 3,000 of those which should use up half of my iron, but that'll be fine. And then we'll just throw that on there. And you can see that this is kind of flipping things around as it's needed, so that's good. Um, let me see what we have. So we're still at 54,000 for that. Um, silicon is looking good. Um, nickel is looking good. Do I have any magnesium in here? Does not look like it. Okay, we have a bunch of that, a bunch of that, a bunch of that. Gritters maybe. Um, we have lots of computers, so I'm not worried about those. Um, yeah. So uh, we've got kind of this little interior base started, so that's good. Um, and then I will run, oh wait, I need interior plates. Components, okay. All right, so we'll put that in there. And then we'll just run across here with a tube. And then we'll cover that up with some window. A nice little two by one should work. Um, we're gonna go down like that. And that should work for that. And then uh, put in even more oxygen tanks. And then these are built How are these built? Okay, oxygen at the bottom, lights at the top. Good to go. Okay, so oxygen at the bottom, lights at the top. Okay, so that'll give us uh, plenty of oxygen here. And then we are still sealed all the way around, which is good in case I want to pressurize this area. Not sure if I want to do that yet. Um, I might actually throw a vent in here and depressurize from here to pressurize up there. That might be a good idea. 
But, um, yeah, I mean, this is kind of what I'm going for. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I'm going to keep on building out this way because we need to put in a lot more uh, stuff in here. And then I do need some magnesium, so maybe I'll go and pick that up off camera. Um, but, yeah, that's what I got. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um, this is the second half of the last video where I started working on this. And then the next one will be hopefully a full hour video like you are used to. So uh, with that, hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you will join me for the next one. Have a good one.